Rise and shine, family. Just a different perspective. You know how they say heaven is in the mind, right? Well, believers believe that heaven is a place you go to after you die, right? Well, what if it's in the mind? In fact, think about this. The Bible says that he dwells in temples not made with hands. Temples? The kingdom of heaven is within. Not, not out, it's within, right? Surrounding heaven is gates made of pearl. What if pearl is the mystical language for skull? They're both white, round. Christ died on Calvary, right? That means the place of the skull. Look up the word Calvary and its meaning. The actual Hebrew text is the place of the skull, cranium. So if this is true, when you die, which means when you die to yourself, when you become a new person, you do go to heaven because you become conscious you think and you see with your mind, your heaven. Everything becomes clear to you. You're no longer asleep or dead in this realm down, down below your mind where you didn't think with your mind. You have now became conscious. When you enlighten, it's a crucifixion process, right? Where people hate you. You don't know what to think about yourself, but you're becoming someone new. Then you rise again, right? You get your confidence and your courage back into your actual self though, right? And this is why the dead will be seen risen. <laughs> We're the walking dead, right? Not only that, you know, you realize that it is through your mind, through your heaven, that you manifest things onto earth, right? Does the Bible talk about heaven descending onto earth? What is it when the helicopter was made? The airplane, right? Any work of art that you saw, any music that you ever saw, any language created, Anything that you see in this world, from the internet to the phones that we're using, came from the mind of man. From heaven, it was manifested on earth. So who are the gods? Know your power, all right? Let your will be done. Take what's in your beautiful mind, your beautiful, your beautiful heaven, and manifest it on the world. And it's filled with mansions too, right? Look across the, the world that we have, the Western world. Ask most of them what they'd like to have. They're gonna tell you a mansion. So in their mind, in their imagination, they long for mansions and gold and jewelry. This is why heaven is maybe filled with these things, right? <laughs> it's crazy, but our imaginations are very much like that. And of course, hell can be in your mind as well. So just keep these things in mind, family. Take what you've learned in your mind, take the beautiful ideas in your mind and manifest them down on earth. You are God. Let your will be done, family. All right? Be evolution. Be the change that you want to see. And no candle loses its flame by lighting another. And if you were to ever find yourself in the middle of chaos, it is in that chaos that you would have found yourself. All right? Peace.